I am using it on the authority of Abdullah Yosef Ali and multiple other translators of the Quran yeah. who all translate it in that way. Yeah. In other words, linguistic scholars are backing me up in my use of the word Illa. Mm. And the reason why he's trying to massage the whole phrase is because he's trying to get away from an error inside the Quran. But now it, the game is up because he's just admitted it and agreed that the error is there. You're a preacher, yeah? I'm not a preacher. Well, what's your question? So, um, I would say this, do you ever I, think there will come a time, Muslims, yeah, when the Muslims, Muslims and the Christians the can genuinely un unite in prayer and pray, well, and pray well, alongside well, each other well, in the message? Well, well, Sincerely, yeah. no, I don't think so. Why? Why is that? Is okay. that your mission or is that your belief? No, it's my belief. My belief. Your your belief. belief. But obviously, well, beliefs do influence. You don't know what you I'm saying, oh, like, in terms of the person, do you really come together? Do you want to talk to him or do you want to talk to me? Because he wants to ask a question. Sorry, bro. So I thought it was an open. Okay, so, so you, you, no, it's fine, it's fine. So to answer your question, obviously beliefs do affect someone's mission, don't they? If you act, you act on your mission. Yeah, exactly. So let me let me explain why I don't think Christians and Muslims sincerely can unite in the masjid. I, you or other Christians? Well, I'll explain. I'll, I will I incorporate that into my answer. I'll incorporate that incorporate into my answer. What? Yeah, what, what, yeah, what you've just said. For you or every Christian? What, what I've, what, I'll incorporate that into my answer, right? So, the reason why I don't think that Christians and Muslims can unite in the worship in the masjid is because when you look at the God that's described in the Quran, and when you look at the God that's described in the Bible, they're two different gods. The God of the Bible is a Trinitarian God. The God of the Quran is not a Trinitarian God. So when a Christian worships God, we worship Trinity. When a Muslim worships God, they do not worship Trinity. But for the Christian, that's not acceptable. For the Christian, if you don't all worship all, just you. all the vast majority of Christians, so not all. Well, of course there are some errant Christians. There are some Christians. Yes, yeah, so there are some. So there are some that will pray. There are some erroneous. With the, with the, with the Muslims. Yes, the there are some heretical, erroneous Christians that don't understand the teachings of Christianity. That mistakenly heretical and uh, heretical and erroneous. It's a sin. Yeah, there will be some sinners. It's a sin. Yes, a sin. For them to pray. It is. A, I'll show you. Do you want me to show you? I'll show you. Let me show you. I'll show you in the Bible where it says it's a sin. Ask me this, yeah. you, see, you see the Garden of Gethsemane yeah, when Jesus fell to his, the floor and put his face on the floor yeah. and prayed to the, 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 the yeah. Father. Yeah. It's very Islamic-like. No, it's very Christian-like. It's very Jewish-like. No, it isn't Islamic. Just because Muslims copied Christians in how we prostrate doesn't mean... Yeah. That again. Muslim yeah, Muslims copied Christians. Christians. Fact. Brother, how Muslims old is the Coptic Church? Knowledge, but 2000 years, bro. Yeah, yeah. Brother, <laughs> Brother. Are you talking to him or talking to him? Right, tr right. So I'm ju just trying are to prove the point. To him or I'll talk to, him? to you. I'll, I'll talk, talk to you. Good. Right. So Muslims copied Christians. Tell me. Christians how. for 2000 years have used prostration in their prayer. Show me, show me. Today show me, show me, show me. in church, show me, show me. I prostrated. No, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Show me, show me. Yeah. Show okay. me one prostration. Right. I'll show you. I'll show you prostration. No, no, no. Brother, can you hold my back? On my back, right? <laughs> Hold it, please. Do not put it on the ground. Okay. So, when we, when, this is a Christian prostration. This is what I, I do when I prostrate. So I'm going to show you Christian prayer. What, what direction do, you, do um, Christians prostrate? We can pray in any. We, we can pray in any direction. Any direction. We can pray. Listen. Listen to an answer, bro. We can pray in any direction. But traditionally, we pray towards Jerusalem. So when you all pray in congregation, you can all pray in different directions? No, no, no. Uh, normally, the church is ad orientum. It's towards uh, Jerusalem. But when you're doing your private prayers, you can pray in any direction. And some congregations, they have the, the layout of the church in a circle. Right? So now let me show you. Right? So the traditional way to pray, which is a Jewish way to pray, right? You stand. That's the normative position of prayer is to stand. Right, and it is to look eyes towards heaven because Jesus prayed, when he prayed, he prayed eyes towards heaven. Muslims pray eyes towards the ground. So when Jesus had his face on the floor... I'm going to tell you. I'm literally answering your question. I'm, I'm trying to... You answer, you're asking one question. You asked me to show you something. Now I'm trying to show you something. You're not letting me finish. Let me show you. You asked. Right, so let me finish. I'm not allowed to speak for you. Right, well, let me finish what I'm... Let me answer your first question before you move on to your... Well, you asked the question, bro. You asked the question. So, 
the normative position for Christians to pray is to stand. To stand. Yeah, with their hands open. And they got that from eyes, Jesus. Yes, eyes facing heaven to address God as Father, <laughs> our Father. Right? So what's Jesus right? doing with his face right? on the Because Christians can prostrate, and I'm going to show you that. So you believe after, in the method of Jesus after, or the, in the method of Christians? It's the same one. Oh, no. After, no, after, no. you just don't know, bro. It's because of all that Dawagandist propaganda running around in your head. So Jesus didn't put his face on the floor and pray to the Father? No, of course he did. But that's so a Christian way of praying that Muslims have copied from Christians. So which one is it? That's so, it, that, it is the same thing, bro. What, face on the did, floor you did you understand what I said? Did you understand what I said? Did you understand what I said? So, are you talking to them yeah. or talking to me? I'm just pointing out that everyone else understood what I said. Okay, let's ask. Yeah. You understand the, 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 the same thing. No, bro, he's trying to get away. Right, look, right, bro, he's trying to get away. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to talk to you because I'm going to answer his question, but I'm going to answer it to you because he's interrupting. Right? So, 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 so the traditional understanding of prayer is to do that. Now, at the end of the prayer, the traditional prostration is to do this. You make the sign of the cross, then you go down, like this, right? Look, 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 right? Hands, hands like fists fall to the ground, and then you put your head to the floor. And that is a Christian prostration. Is that how that's, you pray? that's a Christian prostration. That is how I pray. That is I pray. That is how I pray. That's how I pray. Yes, there you go. That's how we pray as Christians. Now he's saying, now look guys, look, look. He's saying Alhamdulillah, my bag. I asked you to hold it. I asked you to hold it. Right? So guys, guys, now notice something. Notice. Notice how excited he is. Notice how excited he is. Yeah, yeah. Now, he's excited yeah. because he thinks that's Muslim. Yeah, because the, the right? brothers Now, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. The Christians but the point is... The bro, listen. And the Muslims but the point is... Allah, yeah. The point I is... They should pray but together. Christians and that was my to have him. been doing that for 2,000 years. <laughs> so, Muslims have copied Christians in prostration. Oh, we pro we pro Muslims we copied copy Christians any, anyone, in Jesus, prostration. Jesus, Isa. No, but you don't pray like Jesus. No, in the Garden of Gethsemane, you, Jesus he called, dead on the floor. Does Jesus call me, God Father? Can I speak now? No, no, no. I'm asking you a question. You does Jesus. Me? No. Does Jesus call God Father? Does Jesus call God Father? Hmm? Does Jesus call God Father? Your Jesus. I don't know what he's doing, bro. Yeah, he calls God Father. Does Jesus call God Father? Do you call God Father? Me? Yeah. Listen, you're no, you don't. Your you don't. Jesus looked towards heaven when he prayed. As a Muslim, when you perform your salah, mm -hmm. where should your eyes be? You're asking us or you're telling us? I'm asking you. Because at one point you sound like you're telling us. Now you sound like you're I'll asking. tell you. I'll tell you then because he didn't want to answer the question. Be clear, be clear. When a Muslim prays, when a Muslim performs their salat, yeah. right, they, they disagree about where to put their hands, but their eyes, their eyes, their eyes have to be on the ground. That's where the eyes have got to be. Their eyes have got to look down. That's where. And they say yes, so I'm not lying. So what does that mean? So Jesus prayed with his eyes towards heaven standing up Muslims pray with their eyes towards ground Jesus prays to the Father Muslims don't pray to the Father Jesus prostrated Christians prostrate Christians call God Father Christians pray standing up with their eyes towards heaven so who's praying like Jesus Christians or Muslims who's, who, who's playing who's playing you can join in. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, you're jumping. Who's praying like Who's praying like Jesus? Jesus calls the Father God. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So what? He calls he God Father. Yeah. Do can he, a Muslim call, call Allah Father? He calls Father God. He calls my God, God Father. My God and your God. He says, "Our my Father." Father. When the uh, father he says, "Our father, yes, my, my God and your God. yeah." There you go. There you go. There you go. So Jesus has a God. So, one well, answer the question. Jesus has a God. Okay, answer the question. What? what? So, I don't need anyone to. What's tell the, you your Christianity. What's the, no, 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 the, no, the, what I'm saying, if there's that. something I personally don't agree with, it's yeah. not like I'm just going with it. Yeah. If you want to if you want to ask a genuine question yeah. about it. I did yeah. ask a genuine question. No, no, I'm just talking in general. So, well, I don't need to talk general, specific, well, drill then? down, detail. Well, well, well you then. If, yeah. you, if you want to ask a specific question in Christianity. Yeah. I did, didn't uh, I? Yeah, you asked and then yeah. you listened for the answer. I was. Yeah, but you didn't. No, you didn't. You kept interrupting. How rude is that, bro? That's rude, isn't it? That's rude. You did interrupt. I stood here and listened to you. No, you didn't. You interrupted. 
You kept asking another point, making another question, bro. Oh, come on. It's, very it's a fight. It's a fight. Everyone can it's make their own decisions. You're right. It's not. It's, right. it's, it's, not. it's, 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 it's handbags We're that don't. It's handbags that don't stuff. It's handbags that don't. Let's not get caught up in that. So, so, so let me ask you So let me ask you My message was to the decent Christians that are amongst the Christian ranks. That we can worship together. For me, for me, I would love to see a time. Yeah. It's very warming for me to listen to the brothers and in Christianity and Islam in countries like Gambia. They don't even understand the difference on why you're arguing amongst each other. They go to church and mosque and pray same way. For me, I was like, wow, this Good. is beautiful. Bro. I love that. Yeah. To me, that is so innocent. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And to me, that represents... Same faith. Same faith. Exactly, bro. Same, faith. Yeah. same destination. Maybe slightly different, uh, you know, my hand is here, yeah. my hand is it here, my hand... Matter. What do you want to do? You want to fight over that? Right. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. You're causing fit now. Hold on. Amongst the believing men. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're here to bring. No, bro. Uh, to, no, bro. To, to, to bring more problems. Let, let me show you. Let me. Are show you a problem solver or no? Problem but maker? but the Christians. No. You see, Christianity is a monotheistic religion. We can't worship that. a false god. I got all that bit. Allah is a false god. We can't worship Allah. Well, now you're just gonna go. No, off bro. Peace. You're gonna go off peace now. No, no. Let me show you. Let me show you. You genuinely believe that all these billions of people, genuinely speaking with decent acumen, yeah. decent sound body and mind people. Yeah. They want to what? Worship what? Sh Satan. No, they're not, crazy. they're not, one second bro, they're yeah. not doing so, it because, so they're doing it because they're deceived. Let me speak. No, right. A person don't, doesn't don't, follow a lie because let, they let me, know it's a lie, they follow a lie right. because they don't know it's they're a lie. They're following their common sense and acumen. And what you don't understand is that by coming here and trying to talk people out of this thing, all you're doing is compounding your own problems. Big punishment waiting for you when you're causing mischief, bro. Big punishment. Do you understand? Right, but, but the point is, bro, you're, you're making an assumption that I can't agree with. You're saying that Christians and Muslims can... Oh, wait, 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 question, bro, you're Jesus. saying, you're talking about interrupting, but asked. you're just interrupting. It's only a question. And, I, and I'm trying to answer the question. So the point is, your question is based on an assumption that I can't agree with, which is that the God of the Muslims and the God of the Christians is the same God. It isn't. There's no way that you can look at the God of the Christians and say that it's the God of Muhammad. And there's no way that you can honestly study the God of Muhammad and say it's the same God as the God of the Christians. It's just the understanding of God. No, it isn't, it's bro. Not. You have come, he, he, he's come wait, to me multiple wait, 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 times wait, 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 telling me that Christianity is a false religion and a false God. <laughs> and now here he is pretending that we all worship the same God. Have you changed your mind? Have you changed your mind? Wait, I'm talking to him. bro. Let me ask you a question, yeah? Do you genuinely believe, yeah, that the Christians and the Muslims don't all want to get to the same destination? Answer my question. I believe Christians and Muslims all want to go to heaven. Alhamdulillah. So at least we agree upon the destination. Is that not a decent conversation? Thank you. I'm saying to you, with that in mind, is it not of even more decency that I can go past an empty church? And I'm telling you, the churches in my area, they're not only empty, Check they're being mind. sold on. They're full. And to me, the only ones trying to save the churches are the Muslims. No. The Muslim men and women uh, bringing their money together to, to keep this holy ground holy. No. We need more holy ground, not less. It's not a mosque. It's not a, so it, a me, mosque. is so not so holy me, ground. Rather than coming here and drilling down on whether my That's hands fine. are here, hands are here, or hands are here, want to fight about it, it makes sense. Listen, you as a Christian, I want you to feel welcome. Welcome. When you see me on Jummah, uh, uh, on Friday, when the brothers, you see them going in that direction. Brother, go join the ranks. Stand toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder. Keep shaitan out of it. This uh, mischief making conversation out of it. You understand me? And just pray to the, to the, to the Most High. You don't have to speak Arabic. You don't have to dress Arabic. You can go there in your nice garments and your Louis, bro. You can go there, bro. You don't have to dress Arab. You don't have to put bro, turban that's, on. That's, and all you of see, he's asking a question to me, women, but he's talking women, to you because he women, thinks you're receptive to his Because I'm rationalising with him and he agrees with every single thing Do you thing agree with everything he says? Wait, 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 wait. I'm rationalising Do you agree with, with everything wait, he says? Wait, wait, wait. Go on. So, 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 I just want to clarify because I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't let anyone put anything in my mouth. Definitely. I definitely believe in harmony. Alhamdulillah. I definitely believe in harmony. So and what I, does that I, look I, like I, in practicality? Hold on. I definitely believe that Muslims and Christians want to go to heaven. I definitely believe that they want to finish. serve God in a pure, in the purest way that they believe. I definitely believe that. In a decent manner. 100 percent That's it. That's, that's the creator. It's, it's a given. That's it. And, and I think I think we definitely have that in common. Um, what we don't have in common, we can go on and on about that. But why are we wasting time on that? That's it. 
Hold up. Why are we wasting time? No one's wasting time on that here. I'm talking about what we have in common. We know the things that we don't have in common. Did I address what we have in common? Yes or no? Brother. You asked the question. No, no, no. He said, he said that you don't agree with everything I just said. And then you a question. Do you agree with everything I just said? Then you said you don't need help. Uh, yeah, no. So do you agree with everything what he just said, that so Christians and Muslims with? worship the same God, therefore Muslims feet, can come to church and worship man, the no same God, and mos nothing, Christians no can go here. to mosque and worship oh, the same God? Answer your question. Listen, it's what he just said. Okay, said. okay, I'm talking to you as a decent uh, Christian. Yeah. Do you agree with what I said to him, yes or no? I agree with the part I just mentioned about yeah. us having... Decency. Decency, absolutely. So you're talking about agreeing already? Well, yeah, but, but you're you're so interpreting that word the separately. I said to him, do you agree with it? Like, like I said, the things that I well, what's your, do you want my answer or yours? It's not, I'm not speaking a different language. Let him talk, bro. It's a straightforward well, question. Let him talk, bro. You're doing, doing to him what you did to me. You, you asked a question. Can you let the grown ups talk? No, for yeah, a well, second, no, no, no. Why, why are you trying no, to just, behave like just that? For why are you behaving like that? Just for variety. No, no. Let you're doing to him what you did oh, to oh, me. You asked a question, and then when he's trying to answer the question, you just ask another question, and then you badger people into saying what you want them to say. You tried it with me. And then when it didn't work with me, you focused on this brother to try the same tactic with him. On him. He's appealing to you to stop doing that and you're oh, still doing bro. it. If you ask a question, I'll make the same appeal for him that I made for myself. If you ask a question, let the man speak his own answer. Stop trying Everybody to badger stop. him into it. giving him the answer you want him I'm to give you. Go for it. Look, we're all here because we believe in God. Yeah. We believe in, like you said, the Most High. Yeah. Now, we have a difference in opinion how you serve the Most High. We have a difference in opinion. Yeah. Do we not? Yeah. Is yeah. that true? Is, was now, I talking about serving or was I talking about going I'm, praying? I, I'm just talking. Now, if you're speaking specifically... What are you talking about? Stop badgering him. Let him answer let the answer. question, bro. Hold on, hold on, you keep trying to say people are interrupting you and you're interrupting what? everybody. Are you looking for Come on, bro. Answer? No, he's wanting you to I'm give him the answer that he wants. Thing. And he's trying to badger you, you into giving him the answer that he needs. If you don't give him the answer that he needs, he just continues to badger you. Have you listened to anything I've said? I've listened to what you said. So when I said specific things... And I've told you what I believe, what I agree with. About what I said? Okay, tell me what you agree with. That's what I said. That's all the question I'll ask you, brother. Now I'm gonna say it again. Yeah, go on. I'm gonna say it again. Go on, go on. I believe yeah. that we both want to. We both have the same destination. Alhamdulillah. In terms of, we want to get to where God is, the Most High, yeah. yeah. Heaven. That's it. That's what we share in common. Yeah. 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 That's why. So from what you said, I believe in that. So I'm talking I, about I, practical I agree ways to implicate that. Now, praying together. Tell me. Let him finish his answer, bro. You keep interrupting him. Bro, you keep saying people aren't being fair to you. But you're not being fair to anyone. You weren't in, you weren't in, you weren't you weren't fair to me. And you weren't fair to him. Control yourself. Practice what you preach. Stop stop trying to stop this silly gaslighting, bro. It doesn't work. It doesn't work with me. Yeah, you're trying to gaslight me. I want to. I want to. I want to bring. I want to bring man, something tell me into how this. We practically implicate what we were speaking about, please. When, when you say practice, just just rephrase that. Well, what do you mean by that? To clarify what you just said. Can I see if I can help? Great. Should I just leave because no, no, he, no, he listened no, to the whole no, conversation? You don't, now he's so you don't want to engage. I need to Why are you badgering him? him? Do you not want to engage him? Why are you trying to badger him into saying something? Let him answer your question. If you're saying something, do I know what I'm clarify, saying? Clarify what you're Cousin, saying. I'll say it again for you. I'll say it again for you. When I was speaking to Bob, say what you what you said. Calm down. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, just say it, innit? Calm down. Man. Man, I'm, I clarify what I'm saying. You clarify the same. Right, you I? keep looking at him, but we're talking. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, please. Okay. When I was speaking to Bob, I spoke about practical ways for believing men and women yeah. to come together as a collective to pray with decency. Which I rejected. Now yeah. he's again, he's interrupting again. No, I'm allowed to, to talk. You're not excluding me from this conversation, bro. Yeah, but I'm, trying I'm sorry. To stay on point, bro. Can I'm, you relax? No, hold on one second. You're, 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 you're treating me decent. No, That's no, wrong. bro. You're just looking to be offended and you're trying to gaslight me. I'm just you're looking for speak. excuses to be offended. Big man, very, this is why people will leave your faith because you don't have decency no, in bro. discussion. No, bro. Anyone who watches this video will know that you Big interrupt man. and badger Listen people. To me. I'm begging you. Uh, interrupt Allow and badger me to people. speak. That's all I'm asking okay. for. Can I just read something from scripture? That, that, 
re reflects what we're saying. Because what he's saying is the assumption behind his argument. Yeah, you're, you're not behaving well. You should do better. So in terms of, in terms of, you see, I, you see, you, you don't like it, do you? When someone points out your own misbehavior, you get upset, but you try to do it to other people. You gaslight people. No, you weren't. You were interrupting him constantly. I witnessed it with my own eyes and my own ears. Right. So he's trying to say that Christians and Muslims can worship together. That this is a practical way that we can, because we're all heading towards the same goal. Now, I want to say that we don't worship the same God. That's the first thing. And I disagree with you on that because the, what you spoke of implies that we do worship the same God. So here's, here's my... Well, I never said that. I said we both want to get to heaven. Yeah, you said, and then you talked about how we serve the Most High. But the point is, the Most High of the Christians and the Jews is not the same as the Most High of the Muslims, which is the point I was making. Now, listen to what it says in Scripture, right? Because we must follow scripture, not politics. And that's why the brother's arguing. He's arguing politics, right? Do not Me be politics, bound. Bro. Listen, crazy? listen, crazy? listen, bro. listen. You're interrupting again. Do not be, listen. Are you listening? Do you see, do you see, how, he, do you see how he behaves? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm do you see how he behaves? Say, so don't do it to me, but I'll do it to you. No, bro, you Brilliant you, you, Muslim you double standard up, right man. then. Oh, Brilliant bro. double mo the Muslim double standard right You've there. Been here too right? Long, man. Now, like, listen, bro. Listen. This, listen to what he says. I'm going to show you why I can't agree with you. And he's not yeah, interested. If, if he's wrong, he'll yeah. have to refute it. Yeah. Listen. So look, he doesn't want to hear the evidence. All I ask the brothers, no, no, he's using you I now not to believers. listen. So, so listen to what it says, right? Listen to what it says. This is Paul the Apostle writing to Christians. Do not be bound together with unbelievers for that partnership have, for that, for what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness, lawlessness, or what fellowship, remember when we go to church, it's fellowship. What fellowship has light with darkness? Or what harmony has Christ with Belial, which was a false god at the time of the, the, the people that he's writing to? Or what has a believer in common with an unbeliever? Or what agreement has the temple of God, which is what, guys? The church with idols. For we are the temple of the living God. So the scriptures are saying that we can't unite with the Muslims in worship. Why can we that. not unite it with the Muslim? It does. does it does say that. It does say that. You mentioned idols. What, what's what, fellowship? You mentioned it idols. Say yeah. that. Church. It church. Does not say that. And where, where do we go to worship? It doesn't say that. Church. So can we that. have church with unbelievers? It does not say that. That's literally what it says. What does it say? It you, 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 okay, so you're saying that I'm wrong. What what does it say then? I would speak, but you won't let me talk. Bro, so it's a bit. Well, I mean, you can't complain. You've been it's interrupting weird, continuously. You're trying to bully me. Then. No, no one. Work. You're not. You can't be bullied. Definitely. By you. So why are you trying? Definitely. Why why are you trying to gaslight then? Definitely. Why are you trying to gaslight? One hundred agree. With you're you not that. scary. There's no point going down that road. Let's have a conversation. You've said you that speak. you've said that I'm wrong. Now tell me why I'm wrong. And don't complain when I, I would interrupt. Like to speak, but you won't let no one. But that's speak. what you did with him, and it's what you did with me. Did he not interrupt me continuously? Did he not interrupt him continuously? Yeah, come on. So tell me, tell me why I'm wrong. I would love to talk with you. Go on, tell me. Let no one else I'm listening. Speak, Shall we do it timed? Shall we time it? I'm not a child. But you interrupted me continuously. But you were upset when. But it was fine when you did it. Don't ask me questions. Okay, right. So I'm going to be quiet for two minutes. I don't right? need your two minutes, bro. Keep it. So, tell, tell me why I'm wrong. Words, tell me why I'm wrong. Because I'm just trying to talk to this brother and ask him a decent question, with decency, with good manners, with good acumen, while we're all standing here with our faculties in order, and say to you, big man, is there anything wrong with my suggestions here? And what he wants to do is drill down on details within his scripture that he can use within his benefit to say, listen, we're not on your team. Really You're not on our team. We're all separate and we're all divided. And to me, this division, there's only one set of people in this dunya that benefit from this division. <clears throat> only one. And that's the disbelief. That's Certain. the eggs. That's Certain. the Maybe disbelievers the and the mischief makers. God of Isaac and Ismail and God of Bible the and disbelievers God and the mischief makers are the ones benefiting from the beef between the Christians, the Muslims, and the Jews. That's the only people that benefit from this nonsense. That's my opinion. Yeah, but the thing is, everyone can be friendly and equal. Yeah. yeah. But the mere fact that a Christian is going to blaspheme in a mosque. It's not blaspheming. It but it is because, for example. A Muslim doesn't think that Jesus is Christ. God. He doesn't think that he was crucified. Uh, so can we crucified. go into a mosque and say Jesus is Lord? Yeah. For example, can a Christian go in and say Jesus is crucified and he's my Lord? Do you want yeah. to answer it? Listen to me. Yeah. When you pray, yeah. 
you don't need to pray to any mankind. And this is so that's no then. You won't let me speak. Bro. No, hold see, on. See, but but the point me. is that is see, a no. You see, he keeps coming. You see that? But that's a no. This is your Christian no. You understand? I don't even believe that. You can't complain, bro. You've been interrupting continuously. You cannot complain, Bob. And you're you're proving me wrong. Come, no, you're you, 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 you interrupting continuously. Please, bro. He's trying to isolate me from the conversation. No, guys. no, you are trying to isolate me. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Let him speak. Go. Bob, I'm more than happy for you to be in a conversation. Can I just say some words without you interrupting? Yeah, if I can say some words without you interrupting. I let you speak all the time. No, you didn't. You interrupted me continuously. Go on. You say your point. I'll say my point, and then if you want. Right. Go on. When you speak, I listen, innit? Go on. I'm, I'm saying to you, bro. There's yeah. no. When you go to a mosque, you don't have to speak openly. Yeah, of course. You don't have to speak out loud. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. There's no. Uh, uh, there's no one in between you yeah. and the Almighty. Yeah. Especially when you're in sujood, which is what Bob demonstrated to us. Mm. So I'm saying, keep your your Christian sujood, yeah. your Christian prostrations. And do them with the brothers in the masjid. Yeah. That's it. That was all I wanted to get to. Yeah. But you keep saying, no, we're not allowed to pray to this and that. And that's nothing to do with it. No, but that's not what I'm Listen saying. No, 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 let him reply okay. without sorry, interrupting. Sorry, okay. In a church, it assumes certain beliefs and precepts that you're going to be worshipping around. Now, if a, if a Muslim came into a church, they can come in, that's fine. But if you're going to pray, with different beliefs, it's not going to work. We can be friendly, Christians and Jews and Muslims and atheists and whatever. Okay. But it doesn't make it doesn't make, don't, don't but it doesn't make sense to pray in a place where it doesn't even align with it. If that makes sense. No, right. Now, 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 let me now, let, now, let me one, continue to discuss One, one, one uh, Omar al-Khattab radiallahu uh, anhu concrete uh, Jerusalem. There is no mosque there. They ask him. The Christian ask him come and pray inside our. Uh, oh wait, let okay, me no, 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 let me finish. No, 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 and then I'm going to ask talk. him can, he, because the masjid he was like rubbish there and stuff. Yeah. They could not make a uh, prayer. Yeah. yeah, they ask him, can you come and pray in our uh, church? He refused. Why? He refused. He said because I, I don't want to pray inside because maybe the Muslim after me they will take it over and become a masjid. So now it's still a church. But he would like to go and and, and make a prayer. With these but people. just the, the only thing he did, he refused. Because he didn't want Muslim after him to, to, okay, to, so, so, and to become a Muslim. So, so, so now let me reply to all the points, right? Let me sort of reply, and I'll do it very quickly to everything that has been said, right? It sounds nice on paper that we should all worship together, but the reality is, Muslim, Christians cannot go into the church and worship the Trinity because, sorry, Christians can't go into a mosque and worship the Trinity because that would offend Muslims. And it would be inappropriate for us to go into a mosque and worship the Trinity. They'd be upset by that. Equally so, equally so, a Muslim can't come into a church and worship Allah. Now, to the point that the brother has made about what happened in Jerusalem, good politics. The Christians knew that they had been conquered. They knew that their relationships with their new leaders were important. So they granted a concession. But what he didn't tell you yeah. is of all the churches that were then churned into mosques. And the ultimate reality is, and this is my last point, I'm finishing. The ultimate reality is your opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This matters. And what this says is that you cannot be bound together with the unbelievers and you cannot worship with unbelievers. You're not a believer in the Trinity, you're not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I am not a believer in Muhammad, and I am not a believer in Allah. So from a Christian point of view, whatever your religion allows you to do, from a Christian point of view, according to these scriptures, I cannot worship with you and I cannot allow you to worship your God with me. You can come to church, but you can't start praising Allah in the church. Openly. Um, no, if we were to find out you were doing it secretly, you'd be asked to leave. Well, to me, that's very hostile. And for me, in the Quran, it stipulates that you should never attack a man in his place of worship. And for me, for you to exonerate, uh, to, 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 to demonstrate that type of anti, uh, this hostility towards uh, believing men and women, just because that they may have indifferences within their belief system. 
for me, it, it shows and demonstrates why that people are coming out of Christianity into Islam because it's got a much more broader spectrum of, uh, of, of, um, of decency in terms of how you treat people. He, as a Muslim, may pray for something completely different that I pray for. I may pray for something completely different he prays for. The moment that his prayer affects me, I'm going to tell him as a Muslim, Akhi, keep your prayer to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't think a Christian would be allowed to. Do you understand pray. what I just said to him? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, but now so, now let him... so with that in mind, yeah. is it not fair that a Christian can come and in private yeah. do exactly the same prostrations that he demonstrated? Yeah. Make the sign of the cross. Calm down, brother. But that's why he did. Did Jesus, did Jesus sign the cross? No, he didn't. So that's why it. are you doing it? But he hadn't died. That's that's it. It. Why are you doing it? Are you not listening why to the caveat, doing bro? Are you why not are you listening? doing it? I mean, I can answer that question. No, no, but I'll no. let him land on his point. Let him land on his point. Let him, let him land on his point. Him, I will it? answer that question, but let him land on his point. Yeah, yeah. Go on, yeah. finish the point you were making. At the end of the day, bro, all I'm trying to find is the, the common consensus and the decency within the within the understandings. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all going to the same destination. How we get there, you know, <laughs> Allahu Alam. Yeah, only God knows. You understand what I'm saying to you? So I'm not going to judge him as a Muslim for the indifferences. Like I said, his hands are here, his hands are here. His hands. Yeah, that's over right. there, but that's him. He's standing next to me toe to toe. I need to focus where? My focus is on the creator, bro, not him. You understand what I'm saying? You understand the difference? So if he's Christian and he's, uh, I don't know, doing a uh, DJ remix, whatever you want to do, that's his business. But he can't get in the way of me and my prayer. It's simple as that. To me, the, 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 the goodness and the decency, the decent yeah. thing to do as a believer yeah. in the Most High is to extend my courtesy to you as a Christian, as yeah. a believer in the Most High and say, Yalla! Even though everyone's equal, different groups of people having different places to worship because they all have one common goal and they can all come together for that. And obviously everyone's coming together for, for God. But we all have different ideas about God. And if someone did a cross, it would be, some people would be offended. Same with, yeah. you know, the other way around. Yeah, yeah, but that no, hold on. Let, 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 right, I'd, I'd, I'd like to reply now. Teach I'd like to reply. One second, one second, one second. One second, I'd like to reply. No, 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 bro, 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 bro. No, one second. Right, you spoke, he spoke, I would like to also speak. And he asked me a you question. Know what he's doing. Yeah. No. You can see what he's why, doing. Why are you doing? Because what are you very doing? Indecent, what are you doing, very bro? Indecent. You're I'm trying to characterize me. You started a conversation with me that these people were listening to, and now you're trying to isolate me from you that conversation. Now I was naive, you're and doing I'm not even politics, the opportunity bro. To explain myself. You're doing politics, bro. That's, un that's no, indecent. No, you don't have the right to naive, exclude me you from this and conversation. Him is indecent. No, bro. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This conversation is an open conversation. You don't naive, get to dominate. If I'm naive, you don't get to dominate. You and him are in these. Look, good, well, we good, listened to you. Listen. Did we all listen bad. to him? Right? So, so, it's just, dude. This is just politics. He's doing games. It's about characterizing. He's trying to characterize me in a bad way because if he characterizes me in a bad way, he thinks you'll hear my opinion in a bad way. It's simple dawaganda tactics. I get this every single week in the corner. He's a a collective he does his, he does, is a Dawagandist. Because this is so, what we're here for. Bro, can I speak? Can, but you're not allowing me to speak into this well, conversation. Well, you can't say that. Yeah, no, 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 I, I can't. I can't. I have just said that. I've just said that. Stop, stop no one can intimidate you. No one can bully you. Right. Stop trying to I'm be invisible. the victim. I'm invisible. Stop trying to be the victim. Stop trying to be the victim. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I'm being bullied. As if I can <laughs> bully him. Like, it's like, you can tell. He, he'd take me in a fight in like 10 seconds. Said. I can't fight him. He can't be bullied by me. I don't want you me. to feel but, uh, intimidated at I'm all. Not, or, do you, or hostile. But the, again, he's trying to exclude me from this conversation. Oh, oh, That's why he's talking to you directly. Everyone getting involved. He's trying to talk to you, speak directly, so that I don't talk. Notice, oh, I've just done the same he's tactic. He's I've just done exactly the same tactic. I've just excluded him by talking to you. That's what he's trying to do. Don't allow him to manipulate you, right? So in answer to, so I want to respond to what he's, what you've all said and your question, which is very fair. So did Jesus make the sign of the cross? No. Do the apostles have the right to teach us to make the sign of the cross? Yes, did Christ. Now, now who's being rude now? No, again, is that rude? Do, thank you, it is being rude. Thank you. Did anyone do that to him when he was speaking? Does any, no, no, no. No, he's trying to blame. It's gaslighting, bro. He's trying to project. 
He's trying to project onto you his own bad behavior so that it doesn't look bad on him. He's trying to say it's your fault. Right? This is all Dawah Gandhi's tactics. He's a very he, he's he's a proper he's a proper he's a proper Dawah Gandhist. He's a proper Dawah Gandhist. Right? Bro, I and like, know just, how to like, like, just, do you, you see what I'm saying? Every time I talk, I have to fight yeah, for the right to talk. Have you noticed that? Every yeah, time I try to speak, cousin. I have to fight to the right to speak. Why? Whoa, 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 he's doing that thing where he talks to you directly. Do you want to have this as a conversation Jewish. with everybody? Yeah, everyone. Right, so can I, I speak then? All in one can family, I speak then? Right, let's get it going. Let's get Thank going. you. Let's, let's get one. Thank you very much. They're both requesting you to stop interrupting. Right, right? So Jesus allows his church to have the authority to loose and to bind. That's a command that Jesus gives. He says, I give to you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and what you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven and what you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That means the church has the right to say to people, before you do the prostration, make the sign of the cross. They get that authority straight from Jesus. It's totally acceptable. Did Jesus do it himself? No. Does it need that Jesus does it himself? No. The point is not, the point is not whether, the point is not whether Christians and Muslims and Jews do the prostration. That isn't what unites us or divides us. What unites us or divides us is what we believe about Jesus Christ and God. And what a Christian believes about Jesus Christ and God is very different from what a Muslim believes about Jesus Christ and God. And I'll just show you the Bible again, because my opinion does not matter in this debate. Your opinion does not matter in this debate. Yours doesn't and neither does yours and neither does yours. Here's what the Bible says. I will dwell in them and walk amongst them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Listen to the command. Therefore come out from their midst and be separate, says the Lord. Even if he is properly reflecting Islamic teaching, and I don't think he is, because Shia and Sunni have separate mosques. Uh, Shia and Sufi have separate mosques. Even Muslims don't worship together. Even if he was right about what he's saying about Islam, it doesn't mean that Christians have to concede the point. And it isn't better for Christians to concede the point because it sounds friendlier. What is better is that we be faithful to God because that is what it is to be a, a, a man of faith, to be faithful, to be a people of faith, not to be faithful to one another, but to be faithful to God. So if God commands us to be separate, we can, as Christians cannot compromise on this. So respectfully, I say that a Muslim cannot pray to Allah in the mosque, in the church, and a Christian cannot pray to the Trinity in a mosque. I wouldn't want to insult Muslims by praying to the Trinity in a mosque or praying to Jesus in a mosque. Muslims would be upset by that and I understand why. And I think it's far more respectful to treat other people as you want to be treat. So since I don't want Muslims coming in the church and worshipping Allah, I shouldn't go to the mosque and worship Jesus Christ. And I think that that is far more respectful. Now I'll ask you, do you agree with me or him? Who do you agree with, me or him? I mean this, he have his point of view. He likes to unite the religion. He yeah. wants to, you know, he got, he got good faith. Don't don't take him wrong. But in fact, who do you agree with? We cannot do the. I mean, I cannot pray in in a in a church in a church because there is a statue. There you go. But you mentioned before. You mentioned in your Bible. The old church is statue. Don't, don't, no. No, they don't. I don't know. May, I, no. I, I, listen to what? Let me speak. I don't know. Do May, all I, 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 you made a no, they don't. Okay. No, no, you made a no they don't. Do all churches have a statue? I don't know. That's no, they don't. No, they don't. But even if they don't, it doesn't really affect the point. Say that again? Yeah. Even if they don't, it doesn't affect the main point. The main point that he was making was that ideology, Id idolatry, idolatry yeah. exists in... He was church. giving one example. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. I don't. Fair point. I don't, you know? My bad, my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Carry yeah. on. Even if there's, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's a form of idolatry, isn't it? Sorry, man. Let, let's say there's a cross with Jesus in it, like most yeah. churches. Would you, is that a form Sorry, of idolatry? I'm in the well? Listen, all churches don't have the same thing in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm well, saying to you, have a cross. if there was a church which do, does exist without these forms of uh, uh, imagery in there, I'm telling you, the brothers would feel more welcome if you extend them the same courtesy I extended to you. Do you understand where I'm going with I this? I just don't think Do you it, understand where I'm going with this? It, it'll make them feel more comfortable. That's it. I, I understand what you're saying. That's it. What, what, you're, what you're getting at 
that type of church is coming. I, I truly believe that. Give me, give me some. No, 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 give me no. some. I don't think he thinks it's a good thing. I don't think he thinks it's a good thing. No, I don't think he thinks it's a good thing. We don't go around. It's all Dawa Gandhi's tactics, bro. It's all Dawa Gandhi's tactics. Tomorrow you'll be dressed like uh, Arab. No, <laughs> yeah, Arabization. <laughs> just, that's just what the black man needs, Arabization. I would never, I would never man, ask you, know you to do that, bro. Never, man, never. You know what, Let him never. finish his point. Go on. I feel like um, the scriptures, it's set, it's set in stone. It's set in stone what the scriptures say. And um, a Christian has to, I mean, me personally, I feel like I have to do my best to adhere to what the scriptures are saying. Give me some love, bro. There we go. No, no, that's my number one loyalty. I can't do anything to please man. No, no, no. Amen. Did I ask you? No, no. Let him finish. Don't interrupt. Particularly, just in general. Yeah, but I didn't ask you to. No, no, no. You're interrupting him. Let him speak. Go on. Say, for instance, someone may, may propose, look, we need to pray together, we need to do this together. Yeah. If our religion says we can't do that, our belief system says we can't, how can we try to honor that do you believe and, that's and what not it says? honor God? Do you believe that's what your religion says? Well, it says it there, Absolutely, it? that's what that says. Do you 100%. believe that? He's just answered that question. 100%, that's yeah. what that says. That's there you what go. that says. You can't. You Do you believe mix. that? Oh, you've just asked him again. He's just answered the question. That's what that says. Bro, let, him say, let, him speak, let him speak. He yeah, is gone. Say it again because he hadn't heard it for the fourth that's, time. That's exactly what it says. Listen. It's, it's not saying we can't be cordial. It's not saying that we need to be enemies. Because you have your religion, we have our religion. So, so, no, same. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Amazingly, me and you suddenly find ourselves on the same side. What the hell? <laughs> like, how the heck? We're like, somewhere. Like, right, me, 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 me and this guy have history, right? Like, we've got history. Like, but like this, for the first time ever, we're on the same side. You see how far a little bit of decency injected into the conversation will go? I'm always, I'm always. Thank God I came in today. With you, because I defend, I defend. Islam. I know you. When do. you speak about Islam, I defend Islam because yeah. I come against you. Yeah. That's what, but, but you think he's wrong, right? No, 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 wait. But if you talk about, talk, talk about Christianity, I can't criticize Christianity. This is your religion. You, you agree with what with, is in your book. Amen. You That's write it. with this. Yeah. You agree. Yeah. You believe. That's your choice. That's it. Right, so, so I don't bro. criticize your yeah. book. But he didn't say I'm wrong. But he said I defend. Do you, do you believe that I he's right? I always disagree no, with you naive. because I defend him. Islam. He said That's why I come to you. I heard that. Yeah. You I asking, you honest, wrong. A very quick question. Yes. Yeah. Do you believe that the Muslim community should adopt the position of this brother to here? To invite the Christians to pray with them. As to to our God. If they pray to the to the, to the Most High and nothing else. To Which Allah. Is, if they to keep, Allah, yeah. No, no, no. Thank you, God. No. Yeah. Do you see what he did there? Yeah. Do you see what he did there? Do you see what he did there? He switched it out. He did it. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. You bait and switch. Dawa tactics. That's Dawa Ganda tactics, guys. Did you see the bait and switch? Do you see the bait and switch? He saw you, bro. He saw the bait and switch. The invitation is for you to come. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. No, no. Hold on one second. Right? The, the Jesus wait, wait, wait. frustration. And it was exactly the same yeah. as the Muslims. I said to him, come and let the Christians do that in the masjid with the brothers. Is there anything wrong with that? Yes. If the Bible says because he did the, don't according forget to him, the bait and according switch. to you, is there anything wrong with, 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 don't uh, forget with imitating the bait and switch. Uh, Isa's uh, demonstration in the Garden of Gethsemane, don't that form of prayer? The is there any problem in it? Is there anything with imitating? Because you said to go on scripture is your is, is your No, bro, main... you're, you're, you're dominating oh, the conversation again. Fam, oh. You're dominating the conversation again. Let me, let me just point out the bait and switch that happened, right? Oh. Remember, the whole of this conversation, he's tried to present the idea that Christians can come and worship their God in the mosque so long as they do it quietly. And Muslims can go to the church and worship their God so long as they do it quietly. Right? That was the whole point of this argument. I know that and I'm sure you guys recognize that as well. But then, at the last minute, when he wanted him to agree with him, he switched it out and he said, so long as they worship the same God as the Muslims. No, not the Muslims. No, Christians, that. That. Christians, God, believe, Christians believe God the Creator is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Do you believe that as a Christian that God the Most High is Father, Son and Holy Spirit? I do. Are you anyone else a Christian? I do. Yeah, I do. Right, do you, are you a Christian? Yeah, do you believe that God the Most High is Father, Son and Holy Spirit? Absolutely. So, according to you, 
You've just said that you agree we can worship the Most High. So we can come to the mosque now and worship Father, Son and Holy Spirit, right? No. So do you agree with him? I agree with you if you worship one God. The only we, God. we worship. The creator. So we who believe that Jesus? is Father, who Son and... The Holy Spirit? No, no, yes. we don't believe that. We don't believe yeah, that. Your belief, so my point not, is, I'm can not, we come not, to the mosque and worship the Most High, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? Without ascribing a partner to God, you can. That's no, it. but you, you see, again, do you, do, you, do you see they're ignoring what I'm saying? They're, they're trying to bait and switch. Who is, but brother, you're not listening. You're not listening. The point is, the, the point is, right? The point is, bro, we're saying, you're saying if we come to church and worship some other God. Yes, why? Because is our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? According yes, to you. yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yeah. right? So, can a Christian, no. no, thank you. Can a Christian come and worship Father, Son, and Holy no. Spirit in the mosque? No. If you what? believe in three gods, no. no. Right, we don't believe in three gods. 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 No, three gods. The point I got, and I may be wrong, is if you guys came to the mosque and you worship God the Father alone without yeah. adding any yeah, more no attributes problem. to him, yeah. like he said Jesus did yeah. in the Garden of no, Gethsemane, no where he worshipped the Father, the he God, didn't worship the, the Holy Spirit. The Father is not God alone. He didn't worship the Holy Spirit. The Father is not God alone. in the Bible that he worshiped Right, the Holy hold on one second, hold on one second, because you're he jumping into... I'll, I'll, I'll debate both of you. I will debate both of you about whether we believe in three gods or one gods. I am happy to have that conversation. He openly admitted, he openly admitted that when I came, he brought some decency That's between the two brothers, yeah? Between the two believers, yeah? Openly admit that I brought decency between with them you. two, yeah? For once, for the for the one time they've actually uh, had some decency between them. And automatically now he's trying to cut me out of the conversation. <laughs> no one and run away you. with his scripture. No one can cut you out of the conversation. I'm saying to you, have some decency, bro. Practice what you have to And demonstrate to the Christians that are watching to you how to speak with, uh, you know, well, some, some, some yourself, semblance of, uh, you know, you got to do good, that yourself. Good, good Christ-like character. You've got to do that yourself. Is there a problem with you worshiping God the Father alone? Yes. If we worship, if we glorify, you can go up to God the Father. So alone. to answer your question yeah, directly God. without hesitation or deviation. That's fine. Yeah. If God we worship the Father alone, we are not worshiping God. Okay. That's what Jesus. Can I ask you one more question? Is that all right? Yeah. Very briefly, because I, I know this guy I have wants a, to. Talk. I'm, I'm, I used to be it. Christian. My Sorry? family is Christian. My Means dad is. nothing. So my dad says to me, we worship the same God. No, I'm going yeah, my grandmother thinking. says to me, we worship the same God. They're both wrong. And I and I asked I asked my dad, like, do you worship Jesus or do you worship a statue or yeah. Mary? He said no, because the only thing I was taught in the Bible was to worship God the Father. So let me address that question. And that was what I got taught. So let me address your your father and your grandmother are both erroneous in their understanding of the Christian. Erroneous. Yeah, they're both erroneous. According in the, to who? According to the Orthodox <laughs> teachings of the church. According to the Council of Nicaea. Does that mean? According to the yeah. Council of Chalcedon, Does according to the right? Council of Cal Ephesus, that your grandfather and your mother, sorry, your your grandmother, the majority of the people sorry, can I answer your question sure, no, I'm just without interruption? Yeah, yeah? because right. uh, like this guy, you'll you'll complain if I do it to you. No, you have I've asked the question. You have asked the question, and I'm, I'm trying to answer the question. Christians must glorify Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We must glorify Father, Son, and Holy Spirit because. Okay. That is the teaching of the apostles. That's okay. the teaching of the church. Anyone who deviates from that teaching, including your father, including your grandmother, okay. are in error. They may be sincerely in error. You believe we're in, in error as well for doing the yes, same thing? Yes, of course. That's fine. Of yeah. course. You don't worship the father. Okay, can I ask you? Do you call Allah the father? Can I ask you a question? No, I want to ask you a question now. Okay, no, I don't call him. Father. Right, Jesus. I believe the word no, father. No, I'm going to ask you a question. Let me ask a question. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, no. Sorry, bro. Go yeah, you did it to me, so don't come back. Okay, I'm sorry. There I we go. I was wrong. I was wrong. Fair enough. Right. So, yeah. quick question, and then you can answer. Okay. Jesus clearly addresses his God as Father. Oh, okay. Right. If we are to pray like Jesus, should you not also address God as Father? Uh, I don't believe the you Bible can, is you correct. Can, you, you, I don't follow the Bible, you know that already. The Father, right. not begotten, you know that already. Not, not the Father. Uh, what, I believe, what I believe when it was used, and I could be wrong in this, when, we, when, when Jesus was referring to the Father, yeah. it wasn't uh, literally speaking, like it was a figure, son, yeah. figure of speech. Like yeah. we say our Father yeah. in church, like yeah, we say our yeah. Father to someone who's older than to us. Glorify, to glorify, to glorify, no, so, so, no. Sorry, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say our Father who on earth in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, there will be done as earth is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. So this is the prayer that obviously we're taught. It's what I learned when I grew up going to yep. Sunday school. It's yep. what every yep. Christian, we can all agree on as a Christian, yep. and that's, that's the prayer. 
in that, do you believe that that father means the Holy Spirit and Jesus together? So let me let me answer that question. Sure. Okay. So when petitionary, and I'm not trying to argue with you, bro, and I'm not trying to. That's fine. So I'll answer, I'll answer your question. Intentions. I'll answer your question, right? I'm going to answer your question with scripture. That's fine. Right? Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son. Okay. So Jesus is saying that the Father will glorify the Son. Think about the implications of what you've just heard. Glorification is the act of worship. We glorify the Father. What you're talking about is petitionary prayer. Now, petitionary prayer in the Christian understanding should be given only to the Father in the name of the Son. Sorry, what is petitionary? Petitionary prayer is, is when we say things like, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us the, and the difference yeah, between these, that and another prayer. so glorification glorification it's 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 a uh, it's a bit of a nebulous idea to sort of pin down in a summary of words but succinctly it is to adore okay it is to lift high it is to maybe maybe a, it's a faulty word to use in english but to worship right so it's to adore to lift high to offer up a sacrifice that's what glorification and is. That's for the Father alone. You're saying. No, but that's the point. Jesus yeah, says, "This is Jesus speaking." Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son. Okay. So glorification is not just to the Father; it is also to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Okay. Petitionary prayer, which is the example you used, and you used it completely accurately, is only to the Father in the name of the Son. By the grace of the Holy Spirit. In the Spirit. name of the Son? Yes. So that, that prayer is you're using Jesus as an intermediary between the Father. We yes. Our Father who art in heaven. Jesus, Je Jesus Je we offer petitionary prayers in the name of Jesus because Christ commands us to offer prayers in his name. Oh, from a commandment, so from, an, from yeah. a commandment. Jesus commands us to offer prayers in his name. But you're not using Jesus in between that prayer, are you? No, Jesus is our intermediary, yes. But in that prayer, was what I'm saying is you're not using him like uh, in Arabi, Shafat, Adin, oh, I get the question. Yeah. You're not using him as an intercessor. So let, let, let me answer that question. No Very good question. So, the, the, yes, is the, 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 the short answer to the question is yes, and it will take me a couple of sentences to explain it no more than a minute or two. So it comes from another source? It, it, yes. Okay. So, so, Jesus is the great high priest of the Christians. He stands as our high priest before the Father. That understanding of the high priest is rooted in Judaism. They had a high priest who would go into the holies of holies and offer up prayers right, and sacrifices. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah. prayers and sacrifices okay. to Yahweh on behalf of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a type That's of Christ. Zachariah, yeah, Zachariah, yeah that, that, that would be an yeah. example. Okay. That was a type of Christ. That was a type of Christ who, uh, and, and so Christ embodies that. He is our great high priest before the Father. And so when we say our Father, we are actually offering that prayer through Jesus to the Father. So if one text, one percent of the text of the Quran has been changed, that is a much bigger problem for Muslims than it is for Christians. So to answer your question, yes, bro, we can know that the Bible I've got in my bag is the same as the Bible in the 15th century, what the 10th century, the 7th century, and the first question? century. Do you actually you know what I forgot? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I go. Whoa, 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 yeah. I, just, but I think I that was believe, your point. I was I replying don't to your point. That it is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm giving you reasons that's why we what, can believe. Yeah, I respect that. So that's okay. number one. Yeah. Physical evidence. Okay. Physical evidence. Now, point number two. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just find it for you. Bear with me one second, please. So in Surah four, right? Have you got your Quran? So in Surah four. Surah al yeah. 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 So. Bear with us. Uh, we're looking at passage, looking around 160, so let me just get there. It's not actually 160 we're going to, that's just roughly where okay. we're going. Okay, sorry, say it, sorry. Uh. <laughs> you have to say, A'udhu <laughs> Billahi I do not believe in Arabization. I can pray in English and God can hear me just the same. No, I can believe, I, I can pray in English, I can believe, I can pray in English and God will hear me. Okay, listen, listen. He cannot survive without him. 
Yeah. Right? Go on, bro. Uh, one, oh, is it 116? Have I just jumped around? Yeah. Mm. Sorry, take, take your time, man. Take your time. Yeah. I'm cool with it, bro. I'm cool. If I don't know something, I'll say I don't know, bro. Yeah, no, 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 that's I'm, fine. That's I'm not fine. A scholar, I'm, I'm a, I'm a miskeen, very weak person in my religion. You I know? might have just sent us Try entirely, entirely. No, that's fine, bro. Here we go. He without sin cast the first stone, as yeah. Jesus said, huh? So well, that's the that's the pe adultery. Right? No, that's the adultery pericope, and I'm sure you know that that's a textual. My mum always used to say that to I'm me. Sure when I'm sure you know that that is a textual. Bro, my mum always used to say that to me when she was because, because she it, said, he without yeah. sin cast the first it stone. It is actually it is actually even though it is a textual variant, it's still accepted within the meaning. The is, is it's still accepted. accepted. It's okay. considered by Dr. Bruce Metzger as one of the stories of Jesus that never got written down. Right. Okay. Right. And that's yeah. why that's where it comes from. So Christians still accept it. Do you think there were many of them? Uh, yeah. Yes, but I think most of them didn't get written down. Do you believe that Jesus went to the east and studied with the yogis? No, and all that? no, I don't believe that. <laughs> anyway, that so come back, come back to Mike. Let's come back yeah, to. Fun, 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 so I'm going to show you yeah. that the Torah was there in the seventh century uh, from your Quran. Uh, fine, go ahead. But why do they come to thee for this decision yeah. when they have their own Torah law before them? Sure. Therein is the plain command of Allah. Yet even after that, they would turn away, for they are not people of faith. Okay, Simple question, who's the they in that statement? Yeah. Did you all hear the word so, Torah? So what happened? I'll give you the context around like this. I know the context, you don't need to teach me what I already know. I want you to answer my question. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So it's, about, it's about the fact there was a woman caught in adultery, and they were asking, should we stone the woman? I yeah, get the so context. They asked the of the so let's Salahid. save time. Yeah. So, so my question to you is, who is the they? The Jews. And who is the the? For the, uh, yeah. the Prophet Sallallahu Right, yeah. so the Jews in the 7th century yeah. have the law with them because when it says, yeah, well, yeah. and they have the Torah, have yeah. the Torah before them. Of course it is, so yeah. the Torah is there in the 7th century. Of course, yeah. We know what the Torah looked like in the 7th century. You know okay. what it looked like? The Bible in my bag. Okay. Right. Now let me show you another according one. According to you. Yeah. Oh, according to the evidence. Okay, according to the evidence. Which according seen, to the so manuscript verify. evidence. Which that, he studied, that. that he studied, that he studied, I'll give you three names. Dr. Bruce Metzger, Dr. Daniel Wallace, Dr. Bart Ehrman. Dr. Bart Ehrman, he's not a Christian, he criticizes Christianity all the time. Primary evidence or secondary Dr. Evidence? Bruce Metzger was his teacher, yeah, okay. right? So, Dr. Daniel Wallace is the I'm equivalent of Dr. Bart Ehrman. Three head. names, you yeah. can watch it on I'll social films, yeah. right? No These three scholars are in agreement that the text of the New Testament is a stable text, oh, the New Testament. from the year 2000, from okay. the year 1000, uh, from, from, right. from the year 1, from the year 1, from the year 1. From the year 1? Yes, from right. year 1, okay. right? The one of it being written. Now, let me, let me show you that the gospel was there in the 7th century. Okay, but we're, we're skipping over something here. Can I, can I answer this point? Okay, all right? yeah, yeah. So, if they had the Torah with them, yes. you obviously know the context, what Allah is talking about. Yes. That they actually, when they brought the Torah, they covered it with their own hands. Yeah. There you go, they brought and, the Torah and they, and they were, covered it. And what we know... Sorry, for two, two go seconds. On. Sorry, yeah. so I'm getting Allah excited. Allah said in another part in the Quran, يَحَرِّفُونَ yeah. الْكَلِمَ عَنْ مُوَادِعِهِ Yes. That they used to distort the, the, the words the word. from the places. Yes. And that they used to hide from the Book of Allah. Yes. Yes. from the people. Yes. So we agree with you that the Torah was there. Whether it was in a complete form entirely is another, is another right. conversation. Right, here's, here's. But the Jews it's, themselves, it's, 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 they used to, they used to cover the, the book. Right, so. They used to hide it from the people. Let, 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 let me just, let and, me. And one of the things Jesus, I believe in the Bible, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah? Yeah. When he went to the, to the temple on the mount, he said, really, you've turned the house, of, the house of the Lord into a den of thieves. Yeah. And he rebuked the rabbis and the contemporary rabbis yes, at course. that time. Yes, absolutely. For playing around with the religion of Allah. So let me, uh, let me reply. So let me reply. Yeah. So let me reply. Jesus, so let me reply. Abraham, yeah? Let me reply. So let me reply. So now, we understand so let that me there's reply. some fishy stuff going let on. Let me reply. Go on. So he's yeah. just stated actually accurately what the Quran accuses the Jews and Christians of doing. It doesn't accuse, the Quran does not accuse the Torah and the Injil of being lost or changed. It accuses the Jews and the Christians, and he's right, the Quran does accuse Jews and Christians of distorting the words by hiding them, by saying something else, by changing the order around. But the Quran doesn't say that the Torah and the Injil has been lost. It does say they wrote another book and said it was from Allah, but it doesn't identify that book as the Torah or the Injil. But more to the point, as we've just seen from the verse, 
the Quran says that the Torah was there in the 7th century and we know what the Torah looks like from the 7th century. So you believe in Quran then? Because so we you have... believe in Quran? Let me finish. You believe in Quran? Let me finish. You let me believe finish. in Quran? Let me finish. You believe in this ayah? You let believe. me finish. You have to believe everything. Let me Don't finish. Don't believe just one. Let me finish. The rest. I'm I know sorry. you're upset. You're using the Quran. I know you're upset. He's not upset. He's, He's upset. No, no, I'm not upset. You're He's passionate. He's triggered. He's triggered. You're using this ayah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You believe in the Quran? Let me finish. You have to, no. Let me finish. You have to believe all. Let me finish. You believe nothing. You see how triggered he is. He's triggered. He's getting emotional. No, no, no. He he's getting emotional. Do you know why he's getting emotional? Because he knows I've got him on the rope. He knows I've got him. 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 Can I finish? Can I finish? This is you believe. I'm still going to finish no matter how much you interrupt me. It's because he's Arab. They have very hot blood. Well, he's in England. He needs to cool it. He needs to cool it. So. Right, let's so so let me let me finish my point. <laughs> the Quran is saying that the Torah is there in the seventh century. We have copies of the Torah from the seventh century. The church had copies of the Torah from the seventh century. You can find them in museums today, and if you want, I will literally recite a list to you of manuscripts that prove my point. But my point is, if we know what the if we know what the Torah was in the seventh century, then it hasn't been lost. Now, I'm, I'm going to land. I'm landing. Last point. One small question. Go on. Do you believe that the religious establishment in the time of Jesus, and subsequently before that? That they hid anything from the book of Allah, book of God. Okay. That they hid from the people anything from the book of God. So the question, the question was asked. I'm going to answer it very clearly. Jesus accuses the Pharisees, the scribes, of knowing the scriptures but not following the scriptures. Okay. And he accuses the Pharisees of adding to the words of the law in their man-made traditions. In other words, not that they wrote another book, mm -hmm. but okay. that they created a law around the law. Right. And that is exactly what we find in the Talmud. And if you go speak to the Jews today, they will tell you that the Talmud is from God. And who did Muhammad know in Medina? He knew Jews. And what were Jews following? The Talmud. And where did the Talmud, where did the, Muslim, the Jews say that the Talmud came from? God. So when the Quran says they wrote a book with their own hand and said it came from God, it wasn't talking about the Torah or the Injil, it was talking about the Talmud. So, but where in the text of the Torah did it say that a book, what they would use to justify that claim to say that another book would come after the Torah? We, we... It doesn't say that. No, hold on. So they would have to attribute it to the law. You're walking to a false, you're no? working to a false assumption. Is that, is that correct? Or? We Christians reject the Talmud. Okay, but the Jews are going to say that the Talmud come from, came from God. So go and ask a Jew to justify the Talmud belief because we Christians don't justify that. Is there anything in the Bible that says that there, there would be another There is book nothing come. in the Bible to justify the existence of the Talmud. So there must, there's, a, there's been a change somewhere. They must have attributed it to No. The, they must have attributed it to the law. No. How else would they? Because if I come well, and, I, and I'm a rabbi a and Jew. I say, I have a Talmud, it's from God. And someone asked me, well, where did you get this, this came from? Well, this is something that I've inherited from the law of Moses. Go and, and, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not, explanation I'm not going, no, you're speculating. No, no you're speculating. Of course, this, this is a, this is a hypothetical. Well, here's, here's the problem. Here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not saying bro, this is solid, bro. I'm asking you the I, question. And I'm going to answer. Which is great. I'm going to answer. No the, the, the answer is that you're talking to a Christian. The, an, the, the apologetical speculations of the Jews is not the concern of me. Okay. If you want an answer to that question, I invite you to go and speak to a Jew. You're speaking to a Christian. I do not believe in the Talmud. I agree with the Quran that when it says that they have written a book with their own hand and said it's from God, that that was wrong. So what is your name again? So, Bob. Bob, sorry, Bob, with all yeah. due respect, have you look at what the Mufassirin have said, the exegesis of the Quran? Right, I, 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 I want to... said about these verses. You're getting away from the... You're, you're getting away... Oh, because you're saying you agree with the Quran, with all due respect. Yeah? Yes. If I say I agree with the Bible, but then I bring right. a, a verse from the Bible and I say, this is what the Bible is saying, but yeah. none of the classical scholars of the Bible right. said that about that. So verse. here's my accusation. And I'm kind of bringing no, I get what you're interpretation. Saying. I, here's my accusation. I accuse Muslims of what they accuse, what the Quran accuses Christians. No, I, listen okay. to what I said. Okay, but I'm just making that statement. That's fine. That's yeah. I, Bob, accuse the Muslims okay. of doing what the Quran accuses the Christian and Jews of doing. The Quran accuses Christians and Jews of distorting the words of their own book. Mm. I accuse Muslims of doing that. 
because the Quran does not teach that the Torah and the Injil are lost. It never makes that claim ever, anywhere, at any time. And it is Muslims that make that claim. And they only started to do it in the 11th century. The first Muslim to do it, according to the manuscript evidence, the first time that that is written down, Al Hakim Ibn Hazim. Yes, Hazim. In the 11th century, he writes that claim down. Have you looked at the matter in depth and detail? Enough to be convinced of my answer. Okay. You have a preconceived notion of what you believe, right. so, what so, we believe. Hey, so of you, course, you're going to find a little bit of evidence. There's a way, there's a way you can prove me wrong, right? Yeah, I'm not here to prove you wrong. Yeah? Show me in the I Quran. Ask you, I'll ask you, I'll ask you, that's fine. Let me, let me, have, you looked, have you looked at this matter in detail, honestly, and said, okay, I'm going to look at all of the opinions in regards to this matter, and then I'm going to be given honest representation of those views. Okay. Because I don't want to misrepresent your Bible by saying, okay, this is a verse that Jesus is speaking about. It, he's actually saying to worship God and God alone. He's not attributing divinity to himself. If I can't claim any like scholarly viewpoint on that matter, solid, solid scholarly viewpoint on that matter, that's why I've not used anybody. So I'd like to be intellectually honest and have integrity to say, I don't that's know. That's fine. So with yourself, Bob, with all due respect, have you looked at that matter in full detail to go, okay, okay there are no opinions among the classical scholars other than Ibn al-Hazm that says that the Torah and the Injil will change? Okay, to answer your question directly, I have looked at this in detail. Have I considered every possible source and opinion? No. Partly because I can't. Not all of them have been translated. But the quickest, but the quickest way for anyone to prove me wrong is just show me where in the Quran it says that the Bible has been changed. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Go on. The Quran mentioned God is one. Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ahad. Okay. Here is proof. Sorry, your... I didn't Wait. understand any of that. Okay, I'm telling you. I'm going to explain to you. <laughs> I'm not an Arab. The Quran says Talk to God me in is one. God is one. You yeah. said God is three. Right. So you're wrong. Yeah, he that... proved the... okay. your Bible is wrong. The Quran. No, the... you you accusing the Muslim who's been against you, but not the Quran. You said the Quran is never mentioned. Let me reply. So you're wrong in your Bible okay. saying that God is three. Let me reply. And worship three. Okay, God. let me reply. Yeah, so yeah, let me reply to that. So firstly. The Quran contradicting Christian truth, saying that Allah, Allah is one and not three if gods, was good, now right? No, no, I, listen, bro, I did not interrupt you. Please don't interrupt me. Let's have a decent conversation. Yeah, yeah, the okay. fact that the Quran contradicts Christian truth, because the Quran says we believe in three gods, we contradicts Christian truth, which says that we believe in one God. So there's an error in the Quran, right? Let me minute. finish without interrupting. I'm just asking. Am I able so to I'm going to finish my point. No worries. So, I'll start again. No so the Quran contradicting the fact of what Christians believe and teach, because mm. Christians <laughs> believe and teach that we believe in one God, okay. and the Quran gets that wrong and says we believe in three gods. That error inside the Quran does not error. prove no does not prove that the Bible has been changed. That is not evidence that the Quran teaches that the Bible has been changed. It is just an erroneous statement of the Quran. And it's a good reason to reject the Quran because if the Quran's from Allah, why is it getting basic information wrong that any 12 year old doing a GCSE can get right? That, that point, you choose first point. Pick. Is that okay to answer? Yes. Do you, it's going to be a question and then an answer. Yeah. Is that okay? With you? If I yeah, ask yeah, a question. yeah, yeah. Do you know what the meaning of Ilah in the Arabic language is? Yeah, it means, means God. No. Okay. It means anything that is worshipped. So an Ilah can be yeah. from a man, yeah. a rajul, <laughs> qamar, the sun, the moon, the star, a priest, anything like that is an Ilah. So when we say, um, Alihaten, which is the plural of Ilah, it means anything that is worshipped. So that can be the statues that were worshipped in Mecca. Worshipped as what? As uh, objects of divinity, of ta'zim, of so a god then glorification. So a god then of anything. So a god. No, because God. No, for instance, look, I, I, you're saying that what, what, you, you no, don't hold on. claim that Jesus, like, that, that, this, this, the, the this, Holy Spirit, that this the Holy Arabic Spirit, game I've played brother, before. Can I, can I I've played question? this Arabic game before. Okay, you're saying that we we are claiming in the Quran, yeah, in a wrong way. The Quran is. The, I'm not saying you are. I'm the saying Jesus, the Quran is. The, the, the Christians are worshiping three gods, which is wrong. Yes. What we're saying is when you say that God is three, yeah, 
that Allah is free. You're not saying Allah, but from the Quranic stasis, you're saying that Allah is free. The true one. We're saying that the Father, you have taken him as a position of worship. Likewise, you have taken the Son as a person of worship, and you have taken the Holy Spirit as a person of worship. You're saying that they're inseparable. They're not. They're not. They're all one together. The argument from the Quran is saying that you have taken all three of them as deities. Right. Besides God. Can I reply to that? That's, that's, we're, not, we're not saying they're God or they're all independent creators. The fact that they are worshipped, if I am worshipped, if a man comes to me and makes prostration before me and obeys me over the commandment of God, he has taken me as a God, as a ilah. It's a very, it's, it has expansive meaning. So can I, can I, can I, can I reply? So Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but this massaging... No, that's uh, exactly what the no, 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 I did not interrupt you. Yeah. Don't interrupt me. But you're saying massaging... No, no, one second, one second. I've played, this, I, 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 I've, played, I've played this Arabic game before. I'm not playing it. Right? Game. The reality is, yeah. if you worship something, you're treating it as a god. Right? So in other, words, you're, in other words, it is appropriate to say Ella means god. Right? And that isn't just my opinion. What does god that, mean No, no, I did not interrupt okay. you. That's fine. That's not just my opinion, that's the opinion of a linguist, Abdullah Yosef Ali. Now, are you a linguist? No, but that's the Arabic One language. One second. Are, 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 have, have you produced and translated your own Quran? No. That's used by millions of Muslims around the no, world. But the ulama, this is how right. they explain the Right, hold on one second. On, hold on one second. No, no. I didn't interrupt you. Now, are you asking me a question? No, no, no. Right. Yeah. So, Abdullah, Abdullah, Abdullah Yosef Ali is a linguist. He's a Muslim linguist sure. trusted by millions of Muslims sure. for the translation of their Quran. And it's not just him. I've already of checked course. it. I've already, no, exactly. I've already checked this with multiple other translations. And they all translate Ila as God. So I am backed up by multiple linguists in my use of the term. Okay, yeah, right now, one that. second. Let's just be clear what the Quran actually says. Five seventy-three, Surah five seventy-three. This is the error of the Quran. He's not the linguist. Now, who's who's a Christian here? Yeah. Put your hand up if you believe in three gods. He's an Indian from Mumbai. He's not linguist. Now, notice nobody. Put your hand up if you believe in one god. Right, universal. Right now, let's see if the Quran describes your beliefs properly. They do blaspheme who say Allah is one of three in a trinity. Now that in a trinity bit is not there. The trinity word is not used. For there is no God, there is no God except one God. Now if you're saying there's no God except one God, what are you saying about the three? You're saying that they're three gods because okay, you're contrasting the plural with the singular. Quran is right now, or wrong? One, and Quran, that is, Quran is and right that, here and, or wrong? And it's wrong. And I'll just prove it to you again. If you're a Christian, put your hand up if you believe in three gods. There you go. Put your hand up if you believe in one god. Did the Quran say you believe in three gods or one god? Three, three, gods. three gods. So is the Quran wrong? Yes, it is. Okay, bro. With all due respect, yeah, you're trying to identify your interpretation of the word God with the Arabic meaning of the word Ilah, and they're two separate things. If you, you can look at, bro, that's a translation of the meanings. We have lots of translations of the meanings. We have people who, who, who misinterpret the Quran, Allah he said in the Quran, May I give you a very quick clarification? There are people who take meanings from the Quran and they interpret it in a wrong way as well. You missed something. Like we have deviant sects who ascribe divinity to other than Allah. We have people who take scholars as objects of worship. Sufis. Exactly. So yeah. just because a Muslim says something about a, a meaning from the Quran doesn't mean it's a proven fact. Can I reply quickly? Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he said that worship in and of itself to direct any form of worship to a person, and the ulama they say this classically, is worship. You have taken him as a god. There you go. Regardless. There you go. Now, so the, that's the point. Now, so the Quran is stating that we have three can gods. Ask you a question. That, Do Christians no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. One second. The Holy Spirit. One second. The Father. One second. And Jesus. One Do you second. The Holy one, one second. Let, let's just be clear. Do you worship the Holy Spirit. No, don't try and cut me out of this Bob, conversation. Bob, let me ask. You've asked the question. question. I'm going Do to you answer, answer it. the Holy Spirit. Right. So I'm going to and gain answer the question. So, so listen to what he said. Do you answer? He the said, Lord? Ibn Tamir says, if you take something and worship it, you're worshiping it as a god. Yeah, you've taken yeah. right? it as a Right. And he's just confirmed it again. So that means when the Quran says that we worship 
worship three gods, it is accusing us of believing in three gods. No, it's not accusing now, you of believing in three gods. Now, do Christians believe in saying, three gods? No, why are you interrupting? Yeah. I did well, not I'm interrupt you. Three, no, 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 don't interrupt. Okay. Right. Yeah, so okay. he's just confirmed, he's just confirmed everything that I've just said. That the Quran is accusing us of having three gods. Christ, no, don't Can interrupt. Stop interrupting. Further? Stop you're interrupting. Not, I know you're, you're triggered. I know you're triggered. I'm I know it's upsetting anyway. because you're proving I'm, I'm that the Quran is in error. But I'm try to continue. Very happy. I know you are. Yeah, you yeah. seem like a happy guy. I'm, I'm not upset. Right, I know anyway, you're not. I know you're not. Like, I'm, 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 like, you're interrupting. I'm gaslighting. So now, yeah, no, on, right, 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 right. But I didn't interrupt you, so don't interrupt me. For one second. It's not So don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, he has confirmed exactly what I just said. Okay. The Quran is telling us that we worship three gods. Yeah, true. And therefore, and he's just confirmed it again. Of course, and yeah. that is an error. That is an error. And if it's an error, because you don't believe in three gods, this brother doesn't believe in three gods. This brother doesn't believe in three gods. This, can I say something? If the mm. Quran is describing your beliefs as believing in three gods, it's that's wrong. an error. It's, it's like a textbook that says Muslims worship Muhammad. Bob, that's can, an can error because Muslims don't. Now, one second, I'm just landing. Just two seconds. I'm, I'm just landing. Chance, I'm chance. just landing. Last point, point, last point. Two, okay. Okay. What? last point. And then I have 30 a, seconds. I have the right 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Like, notice all the Muslims around me are getting triggered. <laughs> no, all the Muslims around me are getting triggered. Wait, 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 what's that? Oh, is that not triggered? Is that not triggered? Is that not triggered? Is that not, is that not triggered? Is that not triggered? Is that, is that right? Right? Like, you're, you're, you're triggered. You're triggered. I'm not, I'm not I'm landing. Last point, last point. Allah now he said, Allah. he said that I'm misusing the word illa on my own authority. Right, one second. Right, he I am not basing, I am not basing my use of the word illa on my own authority. I am using it on the authority of Abdullah Yosef Ali and multiple other translators of the Quran yeah. who all translate it in that way. Yeah. In other words, linguistic scholars are backing me up in my use of the word illa. Yeah. And the reason why he's trying to massage the whole phrase is because he's trying to get away from an error inside the Quran. But now it, the game is up because he's just admitted it and agreed that the error is there. You wish. Can I answer? You wish. Yeah. Is that right? Can I yeah? the so, you wish. There's a difference between etiquad, a belief in something, and doing an action that denotes divinity. So, for instance, you guys don't believe that you are taking the Holy Spirit as independent, an independent God from the Father or an independent God with the, with the Son. But in Islam, I'm going to tell you our aqidah, yeah? yeah? We have a belief in our heart, which is we believe Allah is one. Yeah. When we worship somebody else other than Allah, even if we believe Allah is one, yeah. we have taken him as a ilah. It's not a matter of saying, I believe he's a God. You have worshipped him. You have done ibadah to other than him. Yeah. So in, in when, when we look at the Christian doctrine, we say, okay, you believe God is one, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now, you have taken three gods by the fact that you have worshipped the Holy Spirit and Jesus and the Father. You have taken them as three gods. It's not that you believe that the Holy Spirit is a separate God and that Jesus is a separate God and it's a belief. It's an action that you have done. You have, you have prayed to them. You have seek assistance with them. You have done istighathi min dunillah. You have, you have seek help from someone other than the Father. Therefore, you have taken them as a God. But as the aqidah of the Muslims, Simple, yeah. anyone, ayyi ma'bud min dunillah, he is ilah. Anyone who has worshipped besides God, he is ilah. Now, you guys don't believe you're doing that. That's fine. So according to you, the yeah. Quran is wrong. That's fine. According to us, it is literally speaking about you taking them as objects of worship. Okay. The same way if you worshipped a tree, you would be taking that tree as a god besides the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Can I, can can I, I jump in? Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Does you, that make you sense? and then me. Go on. Um, in the Quran, it states that it's, Allah is clear in what he says and he doesn't sure. mess things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. If Clearly from the Islamic perspective, mm. by worshipping three different persons, you are worshipping three gods, right? Yeah, you've yeah, taken so them as Ilah, yeah. If he only gives clear signs, this whole confusion could have been, not be an issue. If he said, although they think they believe in one, they believe in three. Yes. If he said that, That'd the, be clear. the issue wouldn't be here. But he didn't say that, and so it's not a clear sign, yeah. which is why, which is probably why it caused some people to not believe. And, and it's so also, you have you read that? the Quran? 
I've, I've not the whole thing. So can you make that statement? I can. Oh, I, you, you've read the whole Quran. Uh, no, not the whole Quran. But can you read Arabic? Though? It's not clear. No, but then you haven't you read any Quran. <laughs> Let's be clear. Got, Unless you read Arabic, example, you ain't read no Quran. Have you read the whole Bible? No. You could say the same. That's why I've not made any rapid accusations yeah, against not, the Bible. It's not an right accusation. Here. I know that the Quran does say that Allah has revealed clear signs. Is that correct? No, oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't need knowledge of everything in order to know certain But, but isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't it a statement to mankind as an entirety? So, Allah said in the Quran, and if it took me only the bad in Kitab or took only the bad, do you believe in one part of the book and disbelieve in another part? Yeah. This is something that he reputed the Jews for. He, he said to the Jews, you're, you're basically taking one part of the book, you disbelieve in another. Yeah, you, you As in, you're, you're, you're not really reading, <laughs> you yeah, you're not really you're not understanding reading, one part, yeah, yeah. and that's you fine, just, like, that's you how guys, you understand you it. Yeah. And, and Allah didn't say, Allah, yeah, at, at the end of the day, if you don't want to believe, you're not going to believe. Yeah, yeah. If you feel like the Bible is the truth, it's the truth to yeah. you. Yeah, Allah, we believe, is the one who guides the truth. Yeah. And if you have an open mind and you read the Quran properly and sincerely, yeah. you see that the, in the belief of the Muslims, there's no contradictions. We believe God is one. We believe he's one as in his attributes. As in, you don't even need to do prayer to somebody to take them as a Allah. If I say to you, you are all hearing, and the only one is, who is all hearing is God, I've taken you as a Allah. Brilliant. Even I've not that, worshipped you. From, uh, I've attributed an attribute so, of God to you. Right, so... That's, for, example, for example, let me, let me just say yeah, something. Yeah. You haven't read the Bible, for example, but you disagree yeah. with the idea of the Trinity. Yes. Of course, because of my now, belief in the yeah, Quran. Yeah. 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 Now, I don't have to say you need to read the whole Bible in order to fully understand why they believe whatever. But because you see an issue, you can call it out and ask why. Yeah, sure. I see yeah. that Allah has said he's revealed clear signs mm. and here he could have cleared it up very easily. So why would yep. an all-knowing creator not say that exactly. in order for this discussion Bro, to not even be you, a thing? Have you read the Quran in Arabic? No, no, you're missing his point. The point, point I'm saying is you're reading a translation of the meaning. But again, True? If, if God was... If, if God wanted to translate his meaning to all people, all times, why would there be something as simple as linguistic issues? Surely, what linguistic the, issue, for example. But I've explained to you what the word, what the meaning of God yeah. is in the Arabic language. Well, I think God should be able to speak to all people, regardless of the language. The, the language shouldn't be the issue, it should be able to be So God is one, we believe God is one. Yeah, yeah. Anyone who takes a partner other than God, yeah. or attributes God to his creation, yeah. or ascribes him to his creation in a manner not befitting of him, or who worships him alongside of his creation, yeah. he's committed to that's idolatry. Yeah, I think yeah. that creed is very simple to believe. It's actually the easiest creed to believe that God is one, you worship him alone, and you, don't, and you don't make exactly. a partner. So the, diff the only difference we have is we're saying that you have, because of the Holy Spirit and Jesus, you work, because you worship them, you, yeah. you, you seek help from them and you seek divinity or, yeah, yeah. or assistance from yeah. them. You call, on, um, you call on them with, yeah. with God the Father. You have taken them as a God besides God. So, so that's let, let, your belief. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I jump in? Your religion is your religion. Can I jump my in? Religion is my can religion. I jump in? No problem. Like, I'm going to jump no in because you're absolutely right. If the Quran had not got it wrong, we wouldn't be standing here today. And the thing is, the Quran says that all the ayahs of the Quran are a sign from Allah and a clear sign. 100%. So I'm not misrepresenting Islam. I'm not mischaracterizing Islamic belief. No, no, you're not. But the, the Quran has made it unclear. The Quran has got it wrong. And that is why we're having this conversation. What way, what way? Because Christians believe in one God and worship one God. Now, why do we say the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are one? Because they have exactly and identically the same divine essence at exactly the same moment. Okay, that's what I was going to touch on before. Yeah. Why so, say, why so is there even one God? And our God is in the form of three individual divine persons yeah, who sure. collectively are the one God. Are one essence. Yeah, sure. One, our God. Yeah. But yeah. it's clear in the so Bible. When you say we believe in three gods, you've got an idea in your head that we have three different pictures and we pray and each of them yeah. are their separate yes. gods. Yes. No, 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 hold on one second. That's not what we said. Because the point is. No, hold on. No, the point is, no, the point, one, one second, and, and that is what you just said, that is what you just said. That's what I said, I said the fact that the, the, you take them as objects of worship. There you go, so that's what he just said you said. That's what he just said you said. Do you make, do you make, they are one. do you worship 
the Father. Let, wait, 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 wait. Let me explain. Do you worship Jesus. Yes, yes. yes. And do you but worship why? The Holy but Spirit? why? Yes. Why? In, the, from the Islamic bro, doctrine, bro, bro, bro. Which is wrong? Worship besides wrong. The Father, right. as right. in but that, God Almighty. Right, bro. Wait, guys, right. guys, right. guys. Can I jump in? Can I jump in? Can I jump in? Yeah, can I jump in? Yeah, I can I jump in? Ahead, because th yeah. this, this proof, right? This conversation has convinced me more than I was before that this verse is an error. Your explanation has actually convinced me even more that the Quran is in error. And here's why. Because Christians believe that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, right, would not be worthy of worship unless they were divine. And they are divine. But what is their divinity? Their divinity is ahad, it's singular, it's ta'weed, it's oneness. The Father, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit have exactly the same divine essence yes. at exactly the same time, yes. Yes. in the same way, one. in Man the one. same moment. We believe that's and so, yeah. and so, we believe that's and so, when we worship Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we're not worshiping something that is three. We're worshiping one. What is it in the Bible? One divinity. What is it in the Bible? But the Quran. What is in the Bible? And, and now you've now you've utterly convinced me. <coughs> utterly convinced me. That yeah, the Quran is error, is in error. That's fine. Because by your explanation, I'm more convinced than ever before mm. that the Quran gets okay. it wrong. Okay. I'm not but here it to gets convince you. Wait, it gets wait, wait, worse. I'm not here to convince you. It gets worse. It gets worse. Because the Quran doesn't even identify the three correctly. Okay. okay. Yeah, doesn't yeah. even what identify is in the, Bible? the three correctly. What is in the, okay. in the Bible saying the three are one? Yeah. Where? Okay, I'll show you. Yeah, right. Okay. So but clearly, not like uh, maybe a clear verse, clear something right. clear. It can't be three in one. The Bible must explain this clearly, you know, like a Quran. A hundred times, two, three, two hundred times, he God said, praise me, me, only me, only me, only me, you know? We know it's only him. Yeah. So you saying three in one in the Bible, you must at least, the Bible mentioned this hundred times, 150 times, 200 times. Yeah, okay. Because something is big. Not you know, it's not, it's not like something small. So, so now, uh, now let me reply. Now oh, now no. reply. From, the, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the Bible, yeah? Not from you. Yeah. Okay. From the Bible. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, right. Not from you. Yeah. 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 I'm from happy to show you whichever verses you oh, want. From the Bible. Allow me to finish. Yeah. I didn't interrupt you. Okay. So, so the reality. Oh, clear So the so so the reality is. Let let's be clear. Yeah. Christians do not have to agree with the assumptions behind the question, and the assumptions behind the question are wrong. It is not required of the Bible to have a single verse that says X, Y, or Z. You said before. No, let me finish. He said let the me Bible finish. is our word. Let me not finish. You, not me, not him, not let this. me finish. You, you say this let before. Me At the beginning of the conversation. Let me finish. You said the Bible. Let me finish. The Bible, not let you, me not finish. Me. I want from the Bible. Let me finish. Go on. Let, right. Go on from the and, 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 have to pray in a minute. And, and, yeah. just, yeah. and just to prove it, yeah. you can't show me the five pillars of Islam inside the Quran. Muslims have to construct the five God pillars from the Quran and the Hadith. Oh my gosh, will you learn some respect? Right, they have so have so so because Muslims don't follow that logic themselves, we Christians don't have to follow it. Okay. But let me show you a single verse in the Bible where Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are worshipped. A single verse. Okay, At the end one. of the you got oh only one. Oh my gosh! You Will you stop? One. This right, he's triggered. He's triggered. One. He's triggered. I only need one. one book. I only no, need no, one. one. Yeah, I only need no, one. No, 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 I only need one. You're understanding me. I only need one. Clear, clear, clear I only need one. Are you done? Are you I'm done, done interrupting? I'm done, I'm done. Going back to your I'm old done. self. Right? Bob, I'm so, just going to go pray. Yeah, yeah. pray All right. It was lovely. Well, we were not going to be here when you come back. So, no, find me the verse. Yeah, look at the end of the gospel. Here, here, here. It'll take me two seconds. Uh, at the end oh, of the God prayer. prayer, God prayer. Yeah. Right, I'm going to tell you. I'm not running away. Second, I, I second. Pray. There you go. So it, it says at the end of the gospel of Matthew to teach and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is an act of worship. And who's it done in the name of? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that's worshiping Father, Son, and Holy Spirit because we don't just do baptism. It's an act of worship. So we're worshipping Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So that's the answer to his question. Can I move it on to a different topic? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go and get a cup of tea somewhere? <laughs> Definitely, it's cold. Yeah. Shall we go get a cup of tea yeah. somewhere? Yeah? Yeah, I'll be down. All right. See you now. Oh, wrap up. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry, Come and join us for a yeah, cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. Right, a quick wrap up and then I'm going to go. Stay here, guys. And then we're all going to go for a cup of tea. Stay here. Quick wrap up.
So a very long conversation. Um, firstly, starting off with the idea, can, uh, can Muslims and Christians worship in the church and the mosque together? By a Muslim who wanted us essentially to not worship our God, but only worship their gods. It's called a bait and switch, and that's what he was trying to do. Let's all come together and be friendly with one another, but so long as you worship our God and we can worship our God in your church. We moved on from that because the scriptures clearly contradict that idea to the idea that the, the Quran teaches that the Torah and the Injil were there in the seventh century. If the Torah and the Injil are there in the seventh century, then that means they've not been changed or lost. And if they have not been changed or lost, the Quran is false because the Quran contradicts the Torah and the Injil. And I'm yet to meet the Muslim who can show me the verse that says the Torah and the Injil has been changed. I haven't found it yet and I've been asking all day. And then we come on to the error of the Quran. As seen in this conversation, it's very clear Christians believe and worship one God. Why? Because there is only one divine essence, that of the Father, that the Son and the Holy Spirit possess fully and completely at exactly the same moment, in exactly the same way. And so, since we must worship that which is divine, we and that which is divine is one, we worship one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And the brother has convicted me and convinced me even more yeah. than I ever was before That's that the Quran gets it wrong. <laughs> Why? Because the Quran says yeah. that we are worshipping three gods. Wow. And it is the act that we worship Father, Son and Holy Spirit that means that we believe in three gods. Wow. That we are worshipping three gods. And I challenge any Muslim, yeah. if your Quran is right, yeah. show me in the Bible where it teaches that I believe in three gods. If you can't show me that, yeah. then your Quran is wrong. Right. Wrong. 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 <laughs> well done, we'll see you later.